It is so cold in here. Hey y'all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Shantae Marie here and I am a lifestyle vlogger here on YouTube. If you're new to my channel, thank you for joining and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications if you would like to see more of me. All right, so today we are actually going to be hitting on something that I feel like is very important in the military in general, but more specifically the National Guard. So when it comes to picking your career in the National Guard, that is such a huge decision and it's a decision that I wish I would have taken more seriously when I first joined. I feel like the career that you pick is definitely something that's going to go with you no matter what. And in the National Guard, it is honestly a lot more difficult to get a reclass than I than I ever thought. Um, this is like my experience and me sharing this message with you. So it may not be like this in every state, but in the state of Kansas, it is somewhat difficult. And I feel like it also depends on the connections that you have. within the guard so as you progress through your career you're obviously going to get get promotions and you're obviously going to be doing different things but when you first join there are so many ways to research what you are going to do for a job I highly recommend doing your research I would honestly try and get a list from your recruiter of all of the open positions that there are in the guard because at that point in time you're not going to know how anything works honestly you're really not going to know until you're there and experiencing it and you can ask a million questions and it's going to like mentally prepare you but at the end of the day you just don't know until it's actually happening for you and affecting your life so I recommend getting that list. I recommend going through and researching and researching and researching until you literally cannot think straight anymore. Get online, look it up, everything there is to do. If you really want to know my experience for picking my MOS, I wanted to be an MP so bad, a military police officer, and that was actually full at the time for my state. So when I went to MEPS, I was so exhausted from having to wake up at 4 o'clock in the morning that I just didn't care. I had went through all of the process for the day and I was just done. I re remember telling my recruiter, just pick something, pick something, just pick something. Don't ever do that. Don't ever, like I swear to you, don't ever do that. Don't ever do that because it's your life. I was dead set on doing ROTC. I wanted to do ROTC, I was already in college. I told myself, it doesn't matter what you pick here because you're gonna do ROTC and end up getting to get a different career anyways. ROTC didn't happen, so I was stuck with that MOS that I didn't pick. Uh, I did say, give me one that has a bonus, um, at the end of the day, I can't say that getting a bonus is a good or a bad thing. For me, uh, I will always say getting a bonus is a good thing. Uh, I will always say if you can get a bonus, get one. Because you're in the National Guard. If you decide in a few years, I don't want to do this, don't do it anymore. Yeah, you, I mean, it's a lot more difficult to just not do it anymore than that. But at the end of the day, it's your life. And... You, you may only do your one week in a month, two weeks out of the year. The other thing that I've noticed that no one seems to talk about is that, yes, you're joining the Guard, it's one week in a month, two weeks out of the year, but there are full-time jobs in the National Guard. Every state has full-timers that work in the National Guard, and there are things like AGR, ADOS orders, Addition, there's so many additional duties that you could do and your MOS can affect that. Nobody tells you that when you join. I ended up getting an MOS that yes, it went hand in hand with my degree, 
My degree was communication studies and my military job is a 25 uniform so it's signal. I work, I'm supposed to work on radios and know all of this technical shit and I feel like that MOS is literally hindering me from being able to achieve my ultimate goal in the guard which is to get an AGR position which if you don't know what that is that's a whole nother video in itself and basically you're na a National Guard soldier but you're active duty in your state so there are so many options in researching your MOS, the MOS that you choose, and choosing it for yourself and not because somebody said, hey, do this, or this would, you should do this, or it's, don't let anyone pick because it, it, it is your life and your future. So I am stuck in a rock and a hard place right now with what I'm doing. I'm trying to basically get any reclass that I can get. I'm ready to do something else. I want to do something else. You also have to remember that the higher in rank you get, the more difficult it can be to get a reclass. A lot of schools, you cannot be any higher than an E5 uh, to do the reclass. There's waivers. It's a whole, it's a whole show. There's a whole there's always a waiver for everything. Um, there's a lot to learn, but if I had to give my biggest tip of advice, it's make sure that you know what slots are open in your state and that you research every MOS. I would say narrow it down to your top five. I'd narrow it down to five that you would be okay with doing. Um, and then I would go from there. Go talk to people who already work in the field. Uh, if you think there's any chance that you would ever work for the National Guard full time, go talk to people who work full time. Because I, your girl didn't know. Nobody told me that there was full time anything in the National Guard at all. I had no idea about full time National Guard jobs until I deployed. So. I was two or three years deep in at that point and then I realized that that was a possibility. Um, also, I would make sure that you know what your goal for the military is. At the time that I joined, I wanted the money for school. So I feel like my choice of wanting to join the military for money for school, it paid off in the end. I have a degree, but now what? So you want to constantly have your goals, I mean, I say now what, and I'm like, I just told you what my goal is. I want to work full time for the guard. So um, make sure you know your goals. Make sure you think about the future, even though, even though you're in the present right now, it's always good to kind of like map out a game plan and, and help yourself for the future because at the end of the day, nobody is going to help you but you. So do your research and I think you'll be fine. That is it for this video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe, turn on notifications, do the do what it do, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.